Well, thank you for everybody for coming to our next episode here in for Tech Tank. Uh, my name is Stephen Massad. I'm a technical specialist here at Autodesk. Uh, AP Persavage. I'm also a technical specialist in AEC. And today we're joined by Jose Lazardo. I'm a technical specialist too at the ME Group. Excellent. So one of the things we want to talk to talk today, um, and it happened to be that was. Thanks for coming into the sure. office here. Uh, we actually broadcast from Denver, Colorado every week. Mm -hmm. And um, Autodesk Live, yeah. it's a brand new product that just came out a couple weeks ago. And we're starting to get questions on it that came out of the, came out of the blue. And uh, we played with it yesterday. And it's a plug -in, essentially a plug-in to Revit. Or it's a plug-in for Revit. It's a cloud service, too. Yeah. And uh, it creates amazing renderings very quickly. Can you tell us more about it and, yeah. and tell our yeah, for sure. So in a nutshell, essentially what Live is, it's a few different things. Like I said, it's a plugin for Revit. It's a cloud service. Uh, but it's a way of leveraging cloud compute to create uh, real-time interactive, immersive experiences of your Revit designs, your models, and your buildings really, really quickly. So from the you know Live Viewer, you're, you can essentially walk around. You can explore the building. You can interact with things. Doors open automatically. You can go up and down stairs. Awesome. You can do a whole bunch of different things. Yeah. we. You know, it was awesome. You could even do lighting. Yeah, you so, can change the time of day. Yeah. It, and it, it shows the shadows, and yeah. depending on... Can you put geolocation? Yeah, it, that it as well? takes your sun studies from Revit and maps that into into uh, a sun that you can essentially change time of day, change location on Earth, and, okay. and stuff like that. It's pretty... So it's recognizing where your building's yeah, located? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, change well. the, time of the, the time of day and also uh, time of year. So right. for... An architect, a, a designer, a GC, uh, any project stakeholder, what would be the benefits of using yeah. something like this? Because you can do walkthroughs and, and rendering in Revit, though they yeah. take time and they can be clunky. Um, what would yeah. Live provide that, that so, I can't? For me, the biggest advantage of the Live service is because it is a service that requires such little user input, right? It's literally like one click or almost one click to get to that Live experience you can essentially start pushing your designs to the live service like at any point in the design process. So you can start validating things much earlier on in the design process. And there are just certain things that you can't really uh, validate until you're actually inside the building, walking around and understanding the layouts, understanding the ergonomics. It just allows users to validate things at a much earlier uh, step in the design process. Really for sure. Essentially providing a more connected design. Yeah. That's yeah. excellent. That's for excellent. Sure. Um, what would you say to uh, maybe some best practices for someone who's just starting out with yeah. it? Um, how would they? How do you get into it? You know? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really it's really super simple. You install the the live suite of of of, of apps. It's a plugin for Revit, as we said, and uh, it also is going to install a live editor, a live viewer on your computer. Um, there's things to kind of be aware of when you try to go live from Revit. Um, you'll need to be inside of a 3D view. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever is visible in that view is what will get pushed. Um, but the, ultimately, when you start it up and you, you get that dialogue that shows you what's going on, it's going to tell you everything that it doesn't know what to do with, and it's going to fix it for you automatically. So there's really no real user input. I mean, you can change things yourselves. There's things to be aware of too, like you need to be, you know, your level of details have to be set to fine, mm -hmm. you know, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. All your linked files have to be on the same version of Revit. They have to be on your local network drives, nothing on E360 won't detect those things. So there's yeah. things to be aware of, but ultimately the, the dialogue tells you what's wrong and fixes it for you. Right. So awesome. it's really zero user input. It's, yeah. it's pretty easy to use, it's pretty awesome. That was, it's freaking awesome. That was, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That was one of the things I noticed in playing with it, just yeah. a Revit plugin. It, it has a specific thing it wants, but yeah. it's very easy to go ahead. It actually yeah. has a little fix button right yeah. next to it, right? Everything yeah. prom prompts you with a way to fix it, and it fixes right. it for you automatically. So. Right. And it warns you of things like it just can't fix, like if it can't find certain materials or certain textures. Sure. It's just going to tell you, hey, I can't find these. Are you okay with that? And you can just say ignore and keep going. Right. So. Right. so Oh, no, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, uh, one of the things, you know, I know the trial's out right now, yeah. right? And that's basically, I think it's, what, 10 days? 10 days, 10, 10 jobs. Products. Okay, so you get some access just yeah. to go ahead and try it out yeah. right now if you want. Uh, but then moving forward with subscription, yeah. it's basically unlimited. Is it's unlimited, unlimited jobs, and okay. you can even send ten up to 10 concurrent jobs at the same time. Okay. Up to the cloud. Wow. You get this Great. process. Yeah, it's pretty so, awesome. So you really could be pushing this oh, as yeah. often as you as want. As often as you want at any step step of the design process. Right. Yeah. So how do you share, you know, if you're an architect and you have, you know, your MEP, your structure, all your, all your models from your trades, yeah. how do you share that out? Yeah. Is that possible? Oh, yeah, for sure. So. 
Uh, once the cloud finishes doing its thing with your model, you get what's called a .lvmd file. This .lvmd file, you can open it up in the live editor. From the live editor, you can make some changes to uh, the experience itself. And then what you do is you publish either to Windows or to iPad. So for now, for iPad, we support the iPad Pro. Um, so you can publish to any of those two uh, formats, and basically you get this file that can be viewed in the live viewer, and anybody can get the live viewer. So your customers, you know, anybody can go ahead and download for free the live viewer from the Autodesk website, and they can take your file and view it. Or you can walk around with your iPad and show it to people. Sure. I mean, it's really up to you. The sharing is, is really easy, and sure. you can actually move around with it with the iPad as well. That's yeah. awesome. That's yes. awesome. Because see how that'd be really powerful in yeah. design meetings, yeah. you know, quick portrait of, yeah. of your information. Jose, I understand there's a VR end of things in, in the works, or is yeah. that here today? So uh, there's two sort of ways of talking about VR when it relates to this whole this whole uh, live uh, initiative. So right now, there uh, you know it's not in the product yet, but I know it's being worked on. Sure. So from the live editor, you'll be able to go to VR. You know, okay. I don't know when that's coming. I can't commit to dates, but sure. that is in the works. Um, the other way to get into VR, and this is where things start to get kind of interesting, is what you generate on the cloud via the live service, um, you can actually take it and open it up inside of Stingray. So Stingray is a game engine that we own, Autodesk right. owns, right. and live is basically built off that, that game engine technology. Uh, so you can leverage the cloud to get your model ready for real time, right? So yep. removing the, the manual need to do that yourself. Sure. Um, and then take that, bring it into Stingray, and now you're inside of the live design ecosystem which now you have access to 3ds Max, you have access to Creative Market, a bunch of other tools to embellish and take that project even further, and one of those paths is VR. So you can actually right. go to VR from, from Stingray okay. right now. Um, so yeah, it's really pick your poison, just the ecosystem, I have a slide on that actually, I won't show it today, but I have a slide on that where just like arrows pointing everywhere. It's pretty, sure. it's pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> cool, yeah. sounds awesome. like you can edit as much as you need to. Yeah, yeah, you can do whatever Great. you want. Great. Do you want to show us a little bit yeah. about? Yeah, let's uh, awesome. show a little bit of that run through here. Oh, t -t -t -t. let me just go ahead and uh, minimize this guy. Minimize this guy. How do you get out of it? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up. So this is this file that I'm going to open up right here. Uh, it's doing the import process. This this is the LVMD file that you get from Live. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes a few seconds to import because it's basically a Stingray project that it's unzipping and unpacking. It could be quite large. Okay. But once we, we publish from the editor into the live uh, viewer, um, that's going to be much faster. So from here, what we're going to see here essentially is what was generated from this Revit model on the cloud. This is no user input. This is exactly what you get from that Revit file. Okay, so this is directly consumable right away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Great. So just give it a second or two. Sorry for this delay. No, I'm gonna this up and forth. <laughs> so yeah. just kind of uh, from a te technological aspect, yeah. when you export it out of Revit, because you actually just double clicked a file on your yeah. hard drive, yeah. does it, I would imagine it packages it, tosses up to the cloud, provides all the rendering, and then yeah brings that file back down? Yeah, essentially what happens is live the live service is going to take your um, your model, it's going to push it up to the cloud, it's going to run a bunch of um, optimizations on your model, and then uh, you will download what is called an LVMD file. Uh, let me just go back into Orbit View. Now, keep in mind that I'm running this on a MacBook Air, so it's a little bit uh, slow, but I'm going to go in here, and now we're inside the building and I can orbit around, I can zoom around, I can look around. If I wanted to go into tap and go mode, I can do that. And now I can use my W, my WASD keys to navigate and do a walk around this building and the space. Doors will get open automatically when I approach them, wow. um, et cetera, et cetera. Trees, RPC trees come in as uh, animated vegetation. RPC people come in as, as uh, uh, static uh, people in your scene. Okay. A really great thing now is um, you can take this this file, you can bring it into Stingray and you can create uh, an even more richer experience, which I'm going to try to get to. Um, I don't know where that file is right now. Do you, uh, Finder. Oh, now I'm inside of Mac. Did you get <laughs> into the windows of this thing? Uh, yep, right so here. just click on that search. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so once you take this LVMD file and you bring it into Stingray and you now you have access, like I said, to the live design ecosystem. So you can really embellish this, take us wherever you want, and really create something even more richer and even more sure. um, impressive. Um, and this is what we're going to take a look at now. This is basically that model, but improved. So we have people on the scene, real people. Yeah, birds flocking in the air. 
um, and uh, I'll show you the time of day stuff, the BIM data, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. What, okay. What's really impressive to me is uh, the speed of it. Um, yep. Even this is just a matter of seconds, yep. less than a minute, and it was able to unpack that entire yeah. file. Sure. How long would it take to make that kind of rendering and, oh, and yeah. just rev it alone? Yeah. And this just kind of augments and provides so much a better experience within that environment. Oh, yeah. Well, that's always been a painful process is, you know, hit render and fingers crossed, you're gonna, <laughs> you know, however long it's going to take you. So here is the, uh, the improved version of this model. If I can just get into a view, something like that. Let's go ahead and click this point of view here so I can zoom into that. You see, okay. you see things look a lot better. You see I have access to my BIM data. If I turn on this, this info here and I click on this wall, for example, wow. I get all that BIM data, that, that BIM metadata comes through. I can change my time of day. Let's go ahead and just do that. Just cycle this, make it a nighttime shot. You see oh, the lighting is really sweet. And what's really cool is that on the cloud, we're also creating this automatic nav mesh. So for example, if I wanna just click on this place here, I'm gonna go ahead and walk automatically. I'm not touching anything, as you guys can see. <laughs> and it's automatically <laughs> taking my point of view and bringing it there. It's very much, uh, you know, first person point of view, very much like a favorite shooter, like Doom. Sure. Yep. Shooter earlier, <laughs> except we're not killing zombies, we're walking, through, uh, <laughs> we're walking through buildings. But it's actively recognizing all the geometry yeah. that yeah. you previously modeled. Yeah, everything that, that you, through. Through. Okay. everything that you had in Revit set up is gonna come through really nicely. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I, uh, I want to thank you for yeah. coming by and talking Thanks. to us a little bit about live. And uh, thanks, for everybody, for watching. And uh, we'll see everybody next week. Absolutely. Thank you.